Hello, Year 3 team. I just wanted to take a few minutes of your time to talk through the RE for this half term. It is an introduction to Judaism. Uh, it falls in between, uh, sorry, it falls in between. It is um, the first of two schemes of work on Judaism in Year 3. This one focuses on beliefs and the second one focuses on practices in the spring term. So that's when you'll come across things like the synagogue and festivals uh, and prayer. The first scheme of work I'm just going to talk you through very quickly. I'm not going to take up a lot of your time. Um, you're used to teaching from booklets, from pre-prepared schemes of work. This one is, is no different really to a lot of the history curriculum. Um, is uh, quite knowledge focused in the PowerPoints uh, and then it's got... Um, a booklet to go alongside six lessons for the half term uh, I've been very conscious to make sure that they are sort of doable in 30 minutes and if you've got any feedback on whether they're too long or too short I'd like to hear it um, so there are six lessons lesson one looks at where Jewish people uh, where Judaism began and situates it on a timeline um, and it looks at where Jewish people live now both uh, in the world and also in, here in London as well Lesson two um, brings back their knowledge of Abraham, at least if they were following the virtual school in year two, they should have done um, a couple of lessons on Abraham and Isaac. Uh, but you might, well, you will need to recap that for those that have done it, but also for those that haven't as well. Introducing the term covenant, which is a super important keyword. It's a special type of promise made between God and humans uh, that is really at the heart of, of Jewish belief. And they believe that they have this covenant with God. Lesson three looks at the Torah, uh, part of the Tanakh, which is the major the three major holy books of Judaism, how it's read, the language of um, Hebrew that it's in, the fact that it's shared between Judaism and Christianity. Uh, it forms the first five books of the Christian Bible. Lesson four is on the idea of mitzvah, which is uh, the Jewish term for the 613 laws found in the Torah. We introduce there the idea of Orthodox Jews and Reformed Jews. Orthodox Jews very strongly stick to the mitzvah and, and reform belief that they should be um, you know, used as guidance. And then it's quite fun. They get to look at a list of the 613 mitzvah. Um, yeah, uh, and, and talk about why some of those might be easy to follow, why some of them might be difficult to follow. Lesson five is all about Shabbat, Friday evening to Saturday evening. Jewish people don't uh, work. It's a day It's a day of rest. Uh, Orthodox Jewish people take that much more seriously. Take it more seriously. They have a stricter definition of what uh, work means. And uh, we also introduce the idea of Pichuach Nefesh, which is saving a life. Um, so if you need to break the rules to save a life, you can. Lesson six is really interesting. Looking at the temple in Jerusalem links in with both a year six scheme of work, but Jerusalem itself features quite heavily across RE for Christianity, Islam and Judaism. Uh, Muhammad, when they're on the night journey, uh, so they'll come back to Jerusalem a few times. It's, it's worth getting an idea of where it is uh, situated in the world. It kind of comes into archaeology a bit because they're talking about there's no real way to know what it looked like. And, and then we look at the Western Wall uh, in Jerusalem. Um, the booklet is pretty uh, standard. There's, there's uh, different activities each lesson. Sometimes it's drawing a spider diagram. Sometimes it's sentence starters. Sometimes it's a, it's a gap fill. Sometimes it's a, this is a labeling activity. Um, for Shabbat, it's more of like a drawing a picture postcard and labeling and annotating your work. So not just drawing a picture, but actually drawing something that's that's useful. And then here is sketching the uh, the four places that they've seen. Um, yeah, it should uh, again hopefully take thirty minutes per lesson. So uh, that's fine. In terms of the the slideshow, I know that they're very text heavy. Uh, the reason for that is that even as an RE specialist, my subject knowledge isn't great on Judaism or perhaps Hinduism. Um, if you are confident teaching um, you know, from your own subject knowledge, then that's absolutely brilliant. But I'm very conscious that a lot of teachers aren't going to have that in-depth knowledge of, of certain faiths or certain elements of certain faiths. So the text is there for you to use. It's a tool um, for you to use, and it contains all of the, the content that children really need to know at the end of the half term. If you want to print some of it out and use it as a reading activity, for example, the Abraham lesson is quite text heavy, and do that as a reading activity, you can. Some of it is in the booklet um, and lends itself to a reading activity here, like this uh, the temple. You can do that as paired reading, uh, individual reading, class reading. But yeah, so that is that. I'd love to hear how you get on. I hope you have a wonderful start to your year. And uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon. Um, any RE questions, just ping them my way and I'll get back to you. Nice one. Bye guys, cheers.